I spent this past weekend in Las Vegas for a weekend full of rugby. Now that I have your attention, after watching about 13 hours of rugby on Friday and Saturday, the highlight would definitely be Canada's heroic performance, beating Kenya and Wales to move on to a quarterfinal with France and beating them against all odds. And then yesterday they beat Samoa to clinch third place out of 16 teams. I have never been more excited to be a Canadian than I was watching them beat France on Saturday. Obviously beating Samoa too was great, but I wasn't in attendance, so we'll go with the France moment. And if you can't tell, my voice is kind of shot because I was yelling and screaming and saying, Go Canada! very loudly all weekend. Okay, very quickly, brief info on Rugby Sevens if you don't know much about it. There are seven minute halves with seven players per team and a two minute halftime per match. Games are fast and anything could happen, such as Canada coming back from a 19-0 deficit with only five minutes left to beat Samoa 22-19. Pure magic. And that, friends, is what we call a super atomic rugby wedgie. That just can't be pleasant. Anyway, the atmosphere in the stadium was electric. Thousands of people representing all 16 nations came together to cheer on their country, as well as against any country that they don't particularly care for. The most obvious team to cheer against was France. A young Fijian man sat with us on Friday, and on Saturday we were with him as well as his family. We had a mutual respect for each other's teams, and when Canada played, they would cheer for Canada, and we would cheer for Fiji when Fiji played. Actually, our Fijian friends were almost as excited as I was when Canada was playing. That's probably because it's so dang fun to watch an underdog team like us beat up on the top teams. Anyway, by the end of the day we were on first name basis and planning to meet them again in a year's time. That's the great thing about events like this. It doesn't matter where we're all from, but by the end of the day we're all in this together. Fortunately, Canada didn't have to play Fiji. That could have been awkward. These tournaments bring out all kinds of people. Since we had a Scottish flag right next to our Canadian flag, a group of Scotsmen came over and joined us for a little bit. It was late in the day, so of course they were completely hosed. We had fun bantering with them anyway, and unfortunately for Scotland, they're not the best team out there. The most drunk of them told me to stick with Canada. Don't worry, Sir Scott. I am. USA has some great talent, but for some reason they can never start out these tournaments on a good note. They ended up nearly last, but had some good showmanship to make up for lack of points. Unfortunately, looking good doesn't win games. One thing I noticed about Americans, as I have the last four times I've gone, is that when they aren't happy with something, they make sure everyone for miles around knows of their dislike by making one of the most negative noises in sports. Other teams, like Kenya, take a classier approach. Anyway, I guess it's not a bad thing per se, but it just rubs me the wrong way. No other supporter group acts like that. To me, booing is just really childish and immature. And if they're booing the ref for every call, perhaps they need to learn the rules a bit more if they disagree. Rugby is a game of respect to players, fans, and yes, even the referee. Also, it's not abandoning your team to gently applaud the other team's brilliance. Sure, you don't have to give a loud holler of excitement when they break your defense and chase a kick all the way back and score. That's just a good play. And good plays deserve to be respected, no matter who did it. Unless it's France. Alright, so there was a ton of stuff that happened this weekend, but honestly, you just have to go and experience the magic of Rugby Sevens for yourself. It's essentially a weekend-long party and the most fun you can ever have at any sporting event. I mean, come on, with hundreds of Kenyans behind you singing and carrying on and having a good time, there's no way you can leave without feeling that you were part of something big. And that's what makes these tournaments so good. No matter who you are or what your allegiance is, you will always have friends around you. Unless your country is playing their country, then in which case, you may have to wait 17 minutes. Or your France.